Uh, he's uh, 33 years old when I filmed him, uh, and he's the head pastor of a megachurch of 30,000 people in Indonesia. And the guy is obsessed with holiness. Um, and he leads big, big crusades. I call him like he's kind of the Benny Hinn of uh, the Pacific Rim. So the top witch doctor in that area, uh, this fellow has chutzpah. That's a Hebrew word. It means nerve. <laughs> he stands up with some of the members of his congregation every day. And what does he do at this witch doctor's home? Well, he goes to the witch doctor's home. You have to understand who this witch doctor is. He's the most powerful witch doctor in the entire Pacific Rim. Okay, He would hold festivals every year where he had 27 wives. He would kill he would slit the throat of one of his wives and kill her and then raise her from the dead. Hmm. Okay, this is, this is the kind of power that this guy was walking in. And Philip would go with, with some of his, his, uh, his people and they would just stand every day outside his home and point and say, repent or else in Jesus' name. And what happened to this witch doctor? And what happened was one night the witch doctor had a dream and in the dream Jesus appeared. He's in white robes and he said, I am Jesus. And he says, I want you to go to that church, and it happened to be Philip's church. I want you to go to that church, and I want you to, to get baptized. Uh, and, the, and he said, I'm not going to do that. He's like, I'm more powerful than all of those Christians. Why would I, why would I become a Christian? Like, they, don't have, they don't have what power I have. And Jesus spoke to me. He says, you will go because I am their God, and I am more powerful than you. And to prove it, I'll take your powers away. And he tapped him on the shoulder, and the guy, when he woke up, he woke up immediately, and he felt a hand leaving his shoulder when he woke up, and all of his powers were gone. He could do no more magic. <laughs> and he tried for three days, and he couldn't do anything, and he finally went to the church, and, and he got saved and, and got baptized, died five days later. Hmm. Well, Darren, uh, if we could encapsulate what you personally learned from doing this film, what would it be? Uh, without question. Um, you know, when I made Finger of God, it was about re helping me to understand that God is still in the business of doing miracles. With this one, I grew up in the church, and so I always knew that God loves us. I knew that. But I just knew, I knew it in my head. And what, the, the process of this is it really went from my head to my heart, where I understood that he, he doesn't love us like a Hallmark card. You know, he doesn't love us like, a, like the, the kinds of things you find in a Christian bookstore. He loves us with a ferocity, and, like, and he will fight for us and he will battle for us, and he's not going to stop. As long as we draw breath, he's not going to stop fighting for us because he loves us so much, and it doesn't matter if we don't even believe in him. He's passionate, passionate for us. That's what I learned. You know, I have tasted that furious love. That's how, coming from a traditional Jewish background, that I dabbled in the New Age. I just dabbled, <laughs> and I got problems with demons. And what does a Jewish person do that has problems with demons? I totally surrendered to God. And I prayed a prayer in the most desperate night of my life. Jesus, help. And the love of God overpowered the darkness. When the love of God came into my bedroom, darkness couldn't stand. And that love is the purpose of why you're watching right now. That love is going to invade you. When? That's up to God. Maybe now. But the first thing you have to do is come to know love in human form. And that's the Jewish Messiah, Jesus. And the way you know him is get clean. You can't do it by yourself, but he's paid the price for you. And by his blood, by his suffering, Every bad thing you've ever done is covered by the blood and washed. You're, you're, you're clean when you believe what the Messiah did for you. And once you're clean, then you are a vessel that can say, I believe that Jesus is my Messiah and Lord. Come inside of me. Take over my life. I yield myself to you. I'll tell you, Darren, the love of God is so overpowering. Tell me the most important. Someone just, re a witch just recently saw this film. What happened to that witch? Uh, the witch came to curse the film. And uh, by the end of it, they went up to the person who was putting on the movie, who was a pastor, and she said, um, you, you are more pow obviously more powerful than I am, and I want what you have. And he said, well, if you want the power, you have to find the source. Mm -hmm. 
You photograph the source, love. He has a name. In Hebrew, Yeshua. In English, in Jesus, get to know him now.